And it's all about slope. An investor will often connect all the low points, so you got, you've got a line trending down, connect the highest points, so you've got a, a line that looks a little bit more like a roof, and you're also projecting the, the, the trends going forward. So in this case, technical analysts call the resistance line the sequence of highest prices that it, for a given period, okay? It looks like the stock doesn't want to go above that price. And support, by contrast, is, the, is really the floor, is the minimum prices, that it looks like the stocks aren't dipping below. You get down to the minimum, and the, maybe the traders are thinking, well, it's not going to go any lower, it's a bargain, I better jump in. And so that starts sending it back up. But this shaded area between those two trend lines is kind of a projection going forward of what the likely prices are going to be. So this is really just the whole point of technical analysis is regardless of where you are on this timeline, you're trying to figure out where the line is likely to go. If you figure out where the line is likely to go, then you can set points where, you know, that's about as high as I'm willing to go, I'll sell it there, or that's about as low as I'm willing to go, uh, I'll buy it there. The, your, that's where your, your buy and sell decisions are coming.